What you guys got another video here for you on ERR underscore SSL underscore protocol underscore error. That is the error code that someone was getting last night on the Discord server. So I thought I'll make a quick video showing you some of the ways of resolving these problems. Now, whether you're using Chrome or Microsoft Edge, you can see Microsoft Edge says can't connect securely to this page. TLS security settings and also warning potential security risk ahead is on Firefox and it does give you that error code uh, SFC underscore error underscore unknown issue. You'll get those error codes. So let me go ahead and show you how to resolve these problems. So first off, open up your browser. First off, Chrome, go to settings. And inside here, what you want to do is go over to the left hand side where it says uh, privacy and security. And what we're going to do here is clear all of the data on this browser. Now, normally you have to clear all of the data because sometimes you could have uh, data stored in there that's uh, causing an issue. So just clear all data and uh, remove that from uh, the Chrome browser. If you're using another browser like Firefox, you will need to do the same thing for Firefox. I'll show you how to do that as well. Go in here, options, and inside here, privacy and security. And you'll find an area inside here where you can uh, clear all of the stored data here. You can see cookies and site data. Clear this data. Make sure the ticks are in both of these boxes and clear this. And also, what you want to do is come down a little bit further, clear history. Inside your history here, if you click on clear history, you want to make sure you're clearing all of your data preferences and other stuff for uh, everything. And then click OK here to clear all of that. Once you've done that, you should be pretty much good to go. Go over to your Edge browser if you've got one. And basically what we're going to do is go settings here and privacy and security. And just make sure that you click on here and choose what you want to clear. Click on this one and put ticks in all of the boxes here and remove everything inside the browser. So that's basically how you can clear the browser data of Firefox, um, Edge and also Chrome. So that is the first step to take. If you've got your search box open on Windows 10, go down to there and type in here Internet and you should see Internet options. If you don't see Internet options, type Internet options and you should see it and you'll get internet properties inside here. Go to the content tab and you want to clear all of the SSL state certificates here. Clear all those and remove them out, okay? Once you've done that, click okay. And uh, that should be done. Now move over to the security tab and remove your high preferences that you've got set here and move them back down to medium. You've got these set too high and it's stopping you from being able to uh, remotely connect to those computers. So set that to medium there. And apply that and OK. And that should be done. And we can now move on to another step that you can try to resolve this problem. Next, we're going to disable QUIC inside Google Chrome. And uh, there is a feature like that in Firefox. I think I think it's slightly different. Uh, but in Google Chrome, it is enabled. It's a, a trial at the moment. So you just definitely want to disable that just to see whether that resolves your problem you need to get into the flags area i'll leave the command in the video description basically disable that feature there and you should now see experimental quic protocol has been disabled and hopefully that resolves your issue next up if you've got any sort of add-ons or uh, extensions on your browser you want to remove all of those from every browser that you're using so whether you're using chrome firefox or edge you will need to make sure you remove all of the extensions here. Sometimes certain extensions can play havoc with uh, certain things that you're trying to do. So the best thing to do is remove them. And sometimes people install loads of different add-ons and extensions to their browser, and it can cause a lot of problems for their browser. So just remove those and see whether that rectifies the problem. And uh, hopefully that does resolve it for you. You want to do that with Firefox and also Edge as well. Going into Windows settings here, we're going to check the time and language. Make sure the time is set to the correct time here. You can auto automatically set that and automatically set the time zone as well if you want to. I'm just going to show you how to do it manually as well. So let me take set time zone automatically 
uh, radio button off and go into here and select my country and select uh, OK. And that should then uh, sync that when you click on the synchronize your clock and that should put you back to normal. Now, sometimes that can resolve a lot of problems as well with uh, this sort of issue. So that's basically how you would do that there. OK, let's move on to another uh, fix here for you. What you can try, go over to your browser, open up the settings and go in here. And we're going to go down to the bottom and go to advanced. So what we're going to do now is do a reset of the browser. And the reason we need to do this is because you tried some lesser invasive uh, things to do. But now it's time to reset the browser. Now you can uninstall it and reinstall it if you wish, but resetting it is a good way to go to try and fix that. In Firefox, you would go to the little menu bar, then go to help and then troubleshooting information here. Inside here, you can see refresh Firefox and there is also um, reset with add-ons disabled and also clear startup cache there. Once you've run those, that will basically reset Firefox and hopefully that will resolve your problems. So just go through the motions here and reset those for yourself. That's now done. And also you can reset Edge if you are an Edge user. So let me go ahead and I'll quickly show you how to reset Edge as well. So I'm just going to quickly close this off. There we go. So what I do to reset Edge, go to Start Settings. Inside here, we're going to go to Apps. And then what we're going to do is look for um, Microsoft Edge. And once you click on Microsoft Edge here, open it up and you should see Advanced Options. Click on that. And you should now be able to get access to the area where you can reset uh, your browser and also repair your browser from here. So click on those and try to reset and repair your browser. And hopefully that does resolve your problems. If it doesn't, then I'll show you some other things that you can try uh, to resolve this issue. OK, that's now done. So we can close that off. Now, another thing that can cause problems is antivirus and security software can block uh, those from being able to connect remotely. So what we need to do here is go into Windows Security. If you're using um, Windows Defender, go into Virus Protection here and you should see Virus and Threat Protection Settings. You want to go Manage there. Inside here, you should now see Exclusions. And what you want to do is exclude um, the software that you're using to try to remote connect. So whether that be TeamViewer or any of those ones, you can add that exclusion into here and it should uh, work once you've done that, if that's what you're having a problem with. So just add those into the exclusion box here. There's also other antivirus software that is much more aggressive at stopping uh, those types of connections to your PC. And it's for your own benefit because there's a lot of scammers that will try to use remote software to connect to your PC. Also, ISPs are taking a stance on this and you can see ERR underscore SSL protocol and error. You can see the lists of ones that uh, TalkTalk are actually blocking on their service. You can allow it to go through by going into the settings here. It does explain how to do that. But this is just one ISP in the UK that's actually took a stance on uh, scammer sites that actually use that type of software to gain access to your computer. And I think it should be default, basically, that you have to go in and enable that feature to remote connect rather than just leaving it as a default where everyone can connect remotely because that's what scammers are doing. They're using that software to gain access to vulnerable people. Now, in also, you'll see a much more aggressive approach from Norton. It will actually block a lot of that stuff as well, but you can go into firewall settings and allow that through if you've got a firewall you will need to allow that to go through if it's not working correctly for you. You can go in here and choose uh, the remote software that you're trying to use and allow that to gain access. And you should be OK to do that once that's uh, set in stone here. Now, there's so many different bits of software. I can't go through all of them, but generally you have to go into your security software to look to see whether there's something that's blocking it and stopping you gaining access to your computer remotely. So anyway, that's basically going to be about it. Hope this one helps you out, guys. A few quite easy steps there to follow to resolve your problems. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button, and 
click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.